Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you guys how to start a siphon on an overflow box without a air lifter or a pump. So I was actually thinking about this the other day where I only have this one aqua lifter and they actually discontinue making this model here. So if this thing ever breaks, like how am I supposed to start this siphon? So I'll show you a few different methods that you can do without this pump. Yeah, so this is on an empty tank. Actually, I'm tearing down this tank. Uh, it was used for a, like a semi-quarantine tank. Um, but I figured since it's kind of wide open now, I can shoot this video. So the very first thing you want to do is to make sure you have water in the overflow box both sides on where this thing is going to sit. So make sure you have enough water here. You have enough water in this uh, compartment here as well. The next thing you do once you have water in here is take your tube that's just basically air. And you're going to place it across here. So you make sure you have water there and you make sure you have water here. So the whole purpose is trying to get the water through this tube here. And I'm going to show you a few methods. The first method I would not do uh, unless, you know, you're kind of down to nothing where it's kind of desperate needs and desperate times. All right, so this first method is basically mimicking that pump that I showed you earlier. And all you're going to do is you're going to take some just tubing and you're going to stick it in the tube here. All the way to the top here, um, like so in the middle somewhere there. And you're going to have some slack here, so something like this and you're going to work this back down to here and so what you're going to do here is now you have the tube up here you're going to take this and you're going to suck air out of this tube and what's going to happen is going to create uh, a suction where water comes up here and goes down there and I'm not going to do it just because like I mentioned like especially when you have overflow boxes in a reef tank there's a bunch of like zoas there's a bunch of things in there that are toxic and you don't want to like accidentally suck water into your mouth so like I said, this method here works, but I wouldn't do it uh, unless you know you, you really didn't have anything else. So I'm gonna show you some other methods that you can just grab around the house uh, to start a siphon with the tube. All right, moving on to method number two is saran wrap. Yes, saran wrap is going to be your friend. So you wanna basically take two pieces of saran wrap uh, big enough to cover the hole here, something like this. All right, you're basically gonna cover the hole like that. Okay, so that's the idea. So, what you're going to do is you're going to dump this tube underwater completely, submerge it, take the saran wrap and cover one of the ends while it's underwater because you want to, you know, have as much water in there as possible. Same thing with the other saran wrap. And you're going to grab that and do this. So now, when you pull up this tube, you have water in the tube already with the both ends kind of sealed, right? And what you're going to do here is you're going to try to hold on. Uh, this is why you have a little bit of slack in terms of the saran wrap here. You want to try to hold up here because it's kind of deep there. And you're going to kind of try to move a little fast just in case if the saran wrap falls off. But you're basically going to dump this like this, like so, into the tube. And you, you know the saran wrap is going to stick pretty well. And the next thing you're going to do is just remove the saran wrap. It's going to be a little effort to shimmy out some of this stuff, okay? Just because like some of these areas here is kind of tight. Boom, just like that. You have a completely siphon uh, tube here. And I'll show you real quick that it is actually going to work here. Let me go plug in the, the pump. So the pump I just turned on, you can see here water's coming out. What you're going to see is you're gonna see movement in this in a second here. And you have, you're going to have bubbles on here depending on how good your seal was with the saran wrap. You can see here, things are already flowing. And what you can do is, um, as, uh, as it's pushing water across here, you can kind of shake this bubble. This is what I normally do for all my thing anyways. Even with the pump, you're gonna have bubbles. You're gonna see it slowly get pushed here. And you can kind of keep shaking it until the bubble gets all, like all the air kind of gets pushed out of here. So it will over time. Um, but this is this is how I just don't normally do it. Just kind of shake the bubble out. But you also want to be careful where you don't want to shake it where it pulls up uh, out of this water area here. So you can kind of shake it, and bubbles will slowly come out. And it's going to take a couple more shakes, and you can see the bubble is trying to get down here, and we're almost quite there. Not quite. Boom, just like that. We've got a completely siphon uh, tube here, no bubbles. 
it took a little effort you know shaking it but like I said if you don't have a pump you can manually start it with just some saran wrap all right so the next method is similar to the saran wrap where you're going to seal the ends but it's just using some of these uh, stoppers. So these are like test tube stoppers, but they're kind of like the larger ones. I'll, I'll have a, a link in the description where I bought these from. The only problem with these is like, I think when you buy them and you smell it, it smells like it came from a car. So make sure you wash it with soap, wash it with something and kind of let it sit aside, especially if you're putting it in an established tank. You don't want this chemical or whatever this oil thing is from this uh, stopper to get into your tank. So just be careful when you do this. So I, I, I rinsed it with like soap and I soaked it in hot water and then I let it dry and I've also put some prime in the water just kind of make sure that this thing's okay but again this is an empty tank for me so I can just do it on here which is fine but for you guys if you're buying these stuff just be careful um, you can use any stopper but pretty much same method here you're gonna dump this underwater you're gonna get your rubber stopper and you're gonna seal the tubes the ends so it's kind of similar to the saran wrap method except for you have these tubes now in here right and you're going to dump it upside down now the only problem with these guys is it's going to be a little tricky to get uh, these stoppers off right instead of putting it all the way in completely because it's going to be kind of tricky to kind of get in there you're going to kind of just lightly put it in there you're going to have to work fast here okay we're going to have to work fast and boom just like that that stopper fell off already on its own and let me see if this stopper fell off on this side yes it did boom so this stopper's off this stopper's off and that stopper's off i have to grab it with something else let me grab it real fast all right so i grabbed the stopper so it's pretty much the same thing as the saran wrap but you know this one at least you can reuse it over and over i guess you can reuse the saran wrap over and over if you wanted to and just kind of set it aside i think the saran wrap is a little bit easier but if you have something like this laying around you can do this too you have a gap of air on here just because I let a little bit of air in because I didn't want to seal it completely because or else it's going to be impossible to pull out. But we're going to start the pump real quick. And water's flowing here. We're going to show you guys that this does work. And the same method there to get this air out, you just have to shake it. Um, and you can see here, it's starting to move here. There you go and then like I said for this air bubble you can just shake it out or you can just kind of let this thing do its thing and eventually it'll push it down there on its own all right guys so if you don't have this pump just because it's discontinued or you're just new into the hobby and you got an overflow box and you can't figure out how to start it that's some some ways to manually start it if you have you know some of these make sure you keep them just because these are kind of rare now just uh, they don't you know they don't make them anymore and they also don't make like a, a similar competitor they don't have them so uh, if you have these, keep them. They're like pretty pricey nowadays if you can get one. Um, but uh, you, you can't really right now. So hopefully mine's works for a while because um, if not, those are the methods I'm going to be using to start it. Um, so I hope this video helps you guys out. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys are subscribed. And like always, some guys. Peace.